The Wells Fargo Center downtown in Jacksonville is still closed after Irma caused very severe flooding. The businesses inside have been forced to evacuate to find a new location to operate. First Coast News' Jason Rantelis spoke with people who work inside. They say they are without a workplace indefinitely. Well, Jeannie, on the outside of the Wells Fargo building by the entrance, there's a sign that says the building is closed unexpectedly. On the outside, you also see several Serve Pro trucks. On the inside, people who work here say the basement is inundated with flooding. Those who work here now wait for answers. That's the sound of one of several crews working to clean up the inside of the Wells Fargo building. The signature downtown skyscraper took a beating from Irma on both the outside and inside, according to those who work there. It's just wow. That's my... That's my job. Joanna Robbins doesn't know when she'll be back to work at her job on the first floor of the building. Scheduled to work there on Friday, and um, I don't think I'm going to be working there on Friday. The closure of the building forced everyone out, including law firm Paget and Paget. They were lucky enough to find space inside nearby one enterprise center. It's been a very hectic few days for sure. With no power, attorney Seth Paget says employees spent Thursday hauling 60 pound computer servers down 19 flights of stairs inside the flooded building. It's uh, hot and dark and it, honestly it smells. <laughs> it's starting to smell because it has all that flood water and the mud and the smell is starting to creep up out of the basement. While none of their equipment was damaged, Padgett says catastrophic flooding in the basement took out electricity and telecommunications. The law firm is lucky as others inside the building rely on that location for a living. Some are still looking for a new workspace. There's a barbershop on the first floor. Uh, the sandwich shop, the river club on the, on the top. So these people who, need, who you know, need that daily cash flow are really going to be impacted. Well, people like Robbins have no idea when they can return. I hope that they get it cleaned up so I can go back to work. I'm ready to, uh, to get back in there and just do what I do.